hello guys this video tutorial is related to the introduction section for the thesis so let's discuss the tips for writing introduction so this is the main tip that you should start your topic broadly and then narrow down it you have to highlight the significance of the study you have to highlight what is the aim of the study you have to cite thoroughly and show don't tell what does it mean by this if you are highlighting that this issue is important you have to clearly elaborate it why it is important so these are the basic tips for writing your introduction in a properly manner so you have to consider all these elements after this these are the functions of the introduction why you choose this topic why it is important how this study will solve this problem you have to answer all of these three questions in your introduction now let me show you one example related to this let's suppose this topic is related to the regular to sustainable products and a coin an account of environmentally concerned consumers in a developing economy now from the title we can see that this study is related to the regular to sustainable products uh, purchase intention so let's read this introduction now in the first few statements it is written that environmental change is a shared concern around the globe and is actively debated on national and international forums environmental change can be reduced by consuming less energy as policy makers emphasize the role of individual consumer responsibility towards the environment Many quarters of the society acknowledge that the global crisis of sustainability has severe effects on society, economics, and nature. Current demand for products and ecosystem services is larger than the capacity of the planet, and the human response to this change will inevitably alter the underlying systems of demand and supply. You can see that there are citations that will help in uh, providing some basic strength to the statements these challenges now you can see that in the first paragraph it was emphasized that what environmental change brings to the society or what are the adverse effects of the environmental change to the society now you can see the emphasis on the topic is now about to narrow down these challenges is stress the imperative to gain better understanding of the consumption patterns now you can see that now the author have narrowed down the focus that why these changes what these changes have done to the environment and what we now have to do to see the consumption patterns why because obviously if the consumer will consume ecologically then it will reduce the impact on the environment so you can see you can read these these challenges is the imperative to gain better understanding of consumption patterns to leverage deeper environment knowledge to help the society attain transition to sustainable products they have not exactly mentioned that what are the consumption patterns or what could be the consumption patterns they just simply stated that this should be important what is important to understand the consumption patterns now for example purchasing of a green label products and recycling help in protecting the environment and decreasing household electricity consumption now the topic is again narrowed down that we are not going to identify the purchase behavior of the sustainable clothing or let's suppose the sustainable cars or whatsoever or the solar panels now what it is decreasing household power consumption because the topic is related to the household consumption of the green products so the authors have narrowed down the focus now you can see that why it is important to the household consumption consumption because in the next few statements you can see the evidence of this in the last decade energy consumption has exponentially increased worldwide and the highest rise has been reported in the service and the residential sector now you can see that they say that it is important to identify the purchase intention of the household energy electrical appliances so now they have provided the evidence that it is important why it is important because it has been seen that the highest rise has been reported in the service and the residential sector among many other factors the rise in the ownership of electrical appliances and the subsequent hike in the use of electrical appliances are the leading source of heightened energy consumption 
you can see the citations this heightened consumption has become a global threat for the environment now you can see that they have emphasized the topic they have narrowed down the focus that the study is related to the purchase intention related to the household electric appliances now in the next this paragraph it is mentioned that why it is important consequently high consumption of power results now they are telling that why it is important to address the energy consumption of the household appliances because it provide because when we use more consumption when we consume high power it more use raw material decline resources or the natural resources and lower the quality of the overall environment in contrast using energy saving products reduces the cost of living and protect the environment so what you have to do is while writing your introduction you have to first broadly explain the topic then narrow down it then emphasize on your context and then emphasize your country as well that why it is important to conduct this research in your study in your uh, country and what will you going to solve or how this study will be beneficial for the society or for whatever the brand or for whatever the context you are studying so one more important point is that you cannot write introduction without citations you have to provide citations all right thank you so much